Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 where it's been a while since I've played um, and it's raining and I'm drinking hot chocolate and I'm feeling a bit melancholy so we're changing that and we're gonna play some Mass Effect 2. Um, we did, I don't know, can I show you? Uh, let me try to see actually. Now that I'm all the way here, let's see if I can show you guys the achievements because it turns out I did get the, um, I got the achievement for checking all the terminals, which was like 40 points. I was like, geez, I thought it'd be like 10. Uh, I got the achievement for killing, uh, oh, no, that is it. There we go. Oh, I guess we could have done that in my room, couldn't we? I forget. So we did do this. We did um, rescue Dr. Amanda Kinsa without attracting hostile attention, which doesn't make any sense to me because we, we did. We attracted hostile attention at the end. We got through the whole thing without attracting hostile attention like to her, but we didn't actually rescue her without attracting hostile attention. Yep, we could not do that. That was impossible. Um, haven't done that. Got the DLC for it. Got the DLC for it. I know we need to go get him. <laughs> Um, but because I'm feeling a bit, you know, melancholy, I don't know, it's just the weather or something, I'm like, we're gonna freaking go do Grunt's mission, because I want to go see Rex. Uh, this is gonna be difficult, I think, for me, uh, because there's only a certain biotic powers you can do that with. Um, almost gotten that done, and we're gonna have to do that. We'll do that someday. I don't know if you guys want to watch them all, but but I will definitely do it someday. But <laughs> let's, uh, let's go, let's resume the game. But I was worried that the ice uh, ammo didn't work, like the ice gun that we got, or yeah, like the cryo blaster or whatever. I thought it didn't work, but it did, so that's good. And I also was trying to get through without attracting hostile attention, and it turns out, I don't know if I knew there was achievement for that or not. My timelines are weird in my head now. But yeah, we got a Shadow Broker ship model as well, which I thought we already had, so I'm a little weird out. I'm also hungry, but too lazy to make anything. That's why I'm drinking hot chocolate. Okay, who? Leave me alone. We read through all the dossiers last time. I remember that. How do I get out? Oh, there we go. But yes, but we did do, we got, we got all the terminals poked. Got a ridiculous amount of points for that. Got to visit Liara, so now we're gonna go visit Rick. Oh shit, that's like a spoiler, isn't it? Hopefully I'll edit that out. Edit that out, me. <laughs> Both instances where I say that. Uh, no, no, it's not a spoiler, is it? Because, because the, the elusive man tells you that Rex is on Tuchanka and hasn't left in, like, over a year. So, yeah, I want to go, I want to get Grunt's mission. I really wanted to, I was really tempted to do Samara's, but if I do Grunt's, then I have to do, um, Morden's, too. It just makes sense. You know why I'm 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 melancholy-ish, melancholic? <laughs> because freaking <laughs> it's the stupidest reason. But it's because the multiplayer armor in Dragon Age Inquisition is bad and you don't get to have it in the single player. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why, but that's very depressing to me that like the are uh, none of almost uh, none of the armor in the game on my character looks exactly like how I want it. And then I found a cool one, like the reason but then it's not as cool as some of the other things and then you could oh, but you could get mods, but I'm like, I don't wanna do mods, it's a pain in the butt. I just want the game I will pay DLC I will pay for DLC, which I need to do that for Witcher 3. There's like a free DLC that like you get like 16 new outfits or something someone was telling me. <sighs> These are games that I'm not playing right now. I'm playing Mass Effect 2 because Mass Effect 2 is there's nothing wrong with Mass Effect 2. 
that's one of the reasons I think I wanted, I was like trying to decide what to play, and I was like, uh, Mass Effect 2, what's the one game where nobody betrays me, and I know how to play it, and I can just have a good time, and I look good, and, uh, man, Mass Effect 2, what would I do without you? What would I do without you? But let's go to, oh, oh, where's the, how do we get out of here? Okay, there it is. Yeah, I was like, I swear there's like one place where we're almost out of fuel. Isn't it kind of funny that it's Samara who gives us the uh, fuel reserves? I'm like, yeah. And what was Thanes? Thanes was something that was kind of funny that wasn't quite assassin-like. And Samara's is one where it's like, it's like they had to give you something, you know? They had to have somebody give you a way to do this. Everybody else is kind of makes sense, but senses. But Samara and uh, Thanes are kind of funny. Just, I don't know. It's not like funny, it's just, just kind of interesting. I'm messing around with the microphone. Hang on. Alright. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Perfect. Perfect! Help Grunt, help Morden. But then we'll still have the Tichanka thing. Help Jack. I know, and I like Jacks, and I like some- I like them all! Like, I- I really- I have a very difficult time choosing new missions to do. In what order. And I think next time I'm going to do it in like a, maybe like a, like try to order them in like order of like uh, urgency maybe. Because you, I mean, you could just do them in order that you get, I was initially going to do that, right? Like I was going to do like you know, Jacob and Miranda and then like, but then right after that I should have done Mordens. Or, <laughs> well, Mordens is the next guy that I picked up. I don't know if I got his mission next though. That's true. I could do it in order that I picked him up, or I could do it in order of urgency, or in order of, um... No. Okay. In order of, I don't know, urgency, in what order I picked them up at, in what order they gave me their personal missions. Because they don't just give them to you, like, all the same time, you know? I don't really know. I think it's, like, a, maybe a certain number of missions that you have them they trigger. Because it's not like Inquisition or Dragon Age, anyway. Where, like, you, you get approval ratings. Fishy! I really don't want to overfeed you guys. But but I also don't want to just leave you, leave you dead. Um... Are we all filled up? <sighs> well, cause that, that was the one we just got. Or did we just get the, we might've just gotten the Quarium one. Man, oh my gosh, you guys, what I wouldn't give to have this collection in real life. Yeah, see, I already had, that Shadowbroker one's been there for ages. Frog! <laughs> Just like sit there like anticipating it like <gasps> I hear uh, I hear your hamster stars as a starring role in the Citadel DLC and I I didn't I didn't ever have the hamster before So I didn't didn't get to see that but that's okay I'll I'll be playing these games forever I just really I just recently was on a huge like just yesterday last week I've been on a huge Dragon Age Inquisition kick where I've been playing like three separate characters like I played like I feel like 12 hours yesterday I don't know and I was, but I'm romancing Cullen because he's like freaking oh my gosh this is the best like his romance is the sweetest nicest most loveliest thing and I think I'm, like, dealing with, like, backlash, like, emotional backlash. Like, I was too happy yesterday, and so now my body's, like, freaking, remember Anders? Remember Solas? And I'm, like, freaking, shut up! <laughs> shut up, brain. We're gonna play Mass Effect. You know, I freaking hope that Mass Effect Andromeda continues the tradition of the Mass Effect 
games being the only ones where you don't have to worry about your friends betraying you because I don't know if I can handle that. I don't know if I can handle that leaking into my mass. I need to be able to trust Mass Effect. <laughs> Dragon Age can like rip my heart in tiny little pieces. That's fine. Mass Effect needs to be there to pick up the pieces. And stuff happens in Mass Effect that makes me upset and like hurts my heart, you know, but it's not like, like it just makes me cry or whatever, you know, but it's like stuff that you can't really help. Like it's not because somebody betrayed you, but it's because of the, like the inevitability of death or something, you know what I mean? Or it's something you can affect personally. Or if you can't, it's totally out of your hands and there's no, why am I doing? There's no reason for you to be upset, like for, for you to feel like you could have changed it, you know? Let's go. I've rambled enough. I'm also hungry, so I'm like probably not gonna be as energetic as usual, but we were all out of cookies and <laughs> I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna make anything. I don't wanna do anything. I did clean, I spring clean today. My room is spotlessly shiny. I dusted and vacuumed and washed all the sheets and everything and friggin' reorganized everything looks good okay I last time I brought grunt and Morton but I think I think with we're gonna do grunts mission first then I definitely want to bring somebody who's got long-range capability um, oh no wait 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 I remember I brought Garrus right because oh wait maybe I should bring It would be it. I, I've never seen him talk to Tally. Uh, oh, I really like... No, okay, I'll do Tally next time, but since I brought Rex with Garrus with me last time, we'll do this. Because I really like what they... I don't know, just a fun little interaction. I have three points. I have three points. I, I I was saving it up though for probably for cryo ammo. I could do coal. Uh, I think I'd like to do cryo ammo to be honest. To be perfectly honest, ooh, we could do overload at three. Ooh, or do ammo piercing. Ah, la 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 la. Hmm. It evolves into tungsten ammo or armor piercing. I mean, it's already armor, but squad. Okay, but tungsten was in uh, Mass Effect One. Let's do armor piercing. <laughs> Grant, whatever your name is, I'm sorry I haven't brought you out. I think I gave... Well, this is... It says it's concussive shot, but he's using the shotgun. So, I'm gonna do that one. Well, free and perfect. Look at that. Maybe I'll rewrite myself and take away points from incendiary ammo and put them into cryo. And... Yeah, basically just cryo. That'd be kind of cool. Hey, right. Let's do it. The Liba Shaft. That's it. Eviscerator is the Liba Shaft. Nice. <laughs> oh, I want to change it. Okay. Um, I want to use... Ooh. Uh, oh, the collector particle beam. Or the missile launcher. Uh, arc projector. Uh, I'm gonna go with the missile launcher. I might just hate myself for that, but it's what we're gonna it's what we're gonna do. Okay. Right, yep, okay. 
I like this drive up to Tichanka, or to the city. Is it, is it, the, the planet's Tichanka, what's the, what's the ruins we're living in? Well, don't mind us, just a couple of, well, a human, a human shuttle, human shuttle thing. Tichanka! Blood pack recruiter, what is that? If you're looking for work, you're shouting down the... Shepherd of the Normandy. He called me alien! That makes me happy. Oh, it's Char! What did I tell you, honey? Isn't it beautiful? Far away from all that high tech noise. I guess. Seems a bit dirty, though. Oh, it builds character. <laughs> Char is like the sweetest Kroger you ever met. <laughs> ah, and she is so out of place here. Hello. Sup. I love the way that Shepard like leans forward like what you go what, what you gonna say to me boy the clan leader wants to speak with you keep your running pet on a short leash get him the right soon or put him down you know what's wrong with him what he needs there's nothing wrong with him just go speak to the clan they just they picked up on it like right away I just realized that. Grunt! It's like freaking yeah, obvious. Get off this rock and show those Turians who's boss. Come on, Garrus. Come on. Let's go. Heard not clan reports use weak encryption. I see references to a captured Solarian in the logs of the chief scout. Also, I have been unable to access local medical records. Oh. I suggest asking the local clan leader for assistance with Grunt's problem. I am kind of surprised that we don't know more about them, but... Hi, Jack! Look, Grant, what do you think? It's your home! The Krogan homeworld. This is the land of Kredok, Shiagar, and Viol. This chunk of rock is barely worth standing on. Ah, uh, how do you Never know? Never thought I'd miss the tank. You have only, only just seen a little bit of it. your brain halt you must wait till the clan leader summons you he is in talk you know i'm like what move demands. clan erdnot must respond your reforms will not go unopposed Rex! Critical time. Shepherd. Rex, i should have come sooner my friend oh that mass effect one music excuse me <laughs> how do i Shepherd. <laughs> oh. Well, for dead, Shepherd. Should have known the void couldn't hold you. Looks like helping me destroy Saren and the Geth has worked out for you. Glad we didn't have to kill each other on Vermeer. Uh, you made the rise of Erd not possible. Vermeer was a turning point for the Krogan, though not everyone was happy about it. <laughs> Destroying Saren's genophage cure freed us from his manipulation. I used that to spur the clans to unify ah. under Erdnot. You abandoned many traditions to get your way. Dangerous. Speak when spoken to, Uvenk. I'll drag your clan to glory whether it likes it or not. Rex is like... Shepherd's like, hey, hey I'm well, in Shepherd, good and you're not. What brings you here? How's the Normandy? That's Re Was Rex? Rex must have been on there. All of them must have been on there, but. Destroyed in a collector surprise attack. I ended up spaced. Well, you look good. Ah. Uh, the benefits of a redundant but, nervous But we don't have that. Yeah, humans don't have that. <laughs> well, it must have been painful, then. <laughs> but you're standing here, and you've got a strong new ship. Takes me back to the old days. Us against the unknown. 
killing it. Ah, oh, I miss it, Rex. Good times. Back when things were simpler. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We are making a neutral ground where all clans are welcome. Fertile females can be shared among clans. We will strengthen the race as a whole. You threaten everything that makes us strong. It will not last. Maybe. Until then, you're lucky to be a part of it. How do you maintain security with so many different clans in one place? Any clan willing to send in hostages can come in. No fighting inside the camp. Each clan punishes its own criminals. We stop conflicts before anyone dies. Then we present a simple choice. Pay a fine and deal with your problems, or your clan is no longer welcome. Okay, sorry about that. Hopefully it didn't mess up for too much, but that was weird. My audacity stopped working too for a second. That was really weird. Um, anyway, I cannot, I don't know, I'm tired right now, but I cannot tell you how happy I am to see Rex. I think last time I did Grunt's mission much sooner because I knew Rex was there and I was just really excited to see him. So, yeah, and he's, I mean, he's come such a long way. Like, when we, last when we would talk to him, he was just getting over the fact that he didn't, like, what, when he had tried to help his people, it all went awry, you know? And he'd been spending, like, what, like, 800 years as a mercenary or something? I don't know, but, uh, he's, Rex is amazing. And I brought him and Tally around with me everywhere. And... I just, I couldn't, couldn't have done it without him, you know? What's so important about maintaining individual clans? Every clan I'm not good at saying customs, it, but I just really miss, passage, really, really miss Rex. Behavior, battle songs, all unique. That diversity makes us great. No clan, not even mine, was meant to survive on its own. Erdnot is the leading clan. Doesn't that make your culture primary? For now. But every clan has its unique assets. The best tacticians are Erdnot. Jorgal has the longest breeding line. Gatatog holds the oldest settlement. Others have the I really miss Rex! We keep going <laughs> the clans will end up as craters under nuclear haze. Even Erdnot. We need to rethink. Restart. I'm just... <laughs> I don't know what it is, but see, Rex right now just makes me really happy. Like, my heart is happy right now. Like, I can't, I can't say it enough. What do the women of Clan Erd not think about this plan? It was our female clan leader's idea. The neutral area is safe, and it encourages more female clans to yeah, ally with Yeah, because they're us. separate. Attacks on Erd not now endanger the females of all clans. Even clans that want to see me dead will defend Clan Erdnot. Mm. Your women have. I did not know structure? this, though. Nothing is more valuable than a fertile female. We know it. They know it. They isolate themselves for their own protection. We work together to set up breeding alliances. I can hardly do anything without Clan Leader Yuta's approval. <laughs> I love it. I do like that. Gives you like a hint right there about like how. The structure of the society is now and how it sort of hints for what could happen. I don't know, like, it's not that, like, they don't, they don't keep the women, like, safe. Like, the women, like, isolate themselves and keep themselves safe. Like, they don't, they don't hide behind men. They hide away from them and they keep themselves safe, you know? So we did, yep, yep. This sounds ambitious. How's it gone so far? Better than I'd feared, worse than I'd hoped. It can't continue. You are going against what makes us strong. Um, one thing. Oh, I shoot, I just, what was I thinking? Um. Oh. Oh, I, I'm not sure if Rex knew if I was dead or not. I would think he did. Or if he, if he knew that I came back. I, like, he, he, I don't know, I, was like, I don't know if he knew if I came back or not. Um, because it's probably been a while at this point, you know, so. But, I, that's the thing, is like, I, I really should have gone to see Rex as soon as I could have. 
Because he's one of my oldest friends that's still kicking around in a place where I can go see them, you know? Sounds like you're not making friends. Traditionalists like Uvenk are chained Varen. Always fighting. But look at it's Rex! Like I'm just uh, just ground. seeing him, like seeing his crest. Clears. Like I don't know. I can plant the flag on their corpses and rally the rest around a new Krogan hub. <laughs> Sounds like you're counting on a lot of bloodshed even after you unite. It will be slow, but I won't change what we are. Krogan are judged by the strength of our enemies. Our worst insult is to say someone's not worth killing. Mm -hmm. Business here. Yeah. I hope that works well for your people. But back to the reason I'm here. We don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchunka, but you're an exception. What's wrong with I'm leaving communism? <laughs> I wish that worked. I have a Krogan on my crew. He has some kind of sickness and needs treatment. I love this. I love this. It's not just him, like, saying words. Where are you from, whelp? Was your clan destroyed before you could learn what is expected of you? I have no clan. I was tank-bred by Warlord Okir. My line distilled from Kredok, Moro, Shiagar. You recite warlords, but you are the offspring of a syringe. Come on. I am pure Krogan. You should be in awe. <laughs> is a very old you should be in awe. Such a, a teenager. Hated name. He is dead. Of course. You're with Shepard. How could he be alive? Uh I need Grunt back up to speed. What's wrong with him? There's nothing wrong with him. He's becoming a full adult. He's going through puberty! Can't we just take him to Omega and buy him a few days? <laughs> I don't care what aliens call it. Krogan undergo the rite of passage. Too far, Rex. Your clan may rule, but this thing is not Krogan. I like his armor. Idiot. So, Grunt, do you wish to stand with Erdnot? You'll let a tank-bred Krogan join Clan Erdnot? Only because he's with you. Mm. After all, you and I killed thousands like him. Not quite as big, but many. Clan Erdnot is strong, and the others will do as I say. They see the benefit of my vision. What does the rite of passage require? I totally, like, to I did not Shepherd. feel like Shall a mother instinct that? towards Grunt at all until we got to this point, and I'm, like, sitting here, like... So, Rex, you gonna adopt my boy? And what is it? What is this gonna entail? And what if he doesn't want to? <laughs> like, it's not like a mother. I don't know, but like, especially in Mass Effect 3, it's like when you see Grunt, you're like, oh my gosh, it's my boy, you know? It's my boy. It's my baby Krogan. I don't know. You birthed him on your ship, you know? He popped out of the tank on your ship. I. It's funny, I like what it. What happens if he doesn't do this rite of passage? If he was left here, he would be killed. The clanless are not respected. A tank bred, probably more so. His disposition is what it is, right or no. That's just him being a Krogan. Okir didn't tell you that in the tank. Did he, boy? And this is like, this is huge for Grunt. Like, I... I really wish I could have taken him out as much as I used to, but it just, now that I have the energy drain, I can, and maybe I will, if I can just bring Grunt and Thane out as much as I can in the next bit, but, like, I feel very attached to Grunt, like, more than anybody else, we are helping him realize who he is, he popped out a clean slate on our ship, basically, I mean, you know, he had the stuff from Okir, but, like, He's our, basically what it is, is I don't really feel like a mother instinct towards him. I feel responsibility for him more than anybody else on my crew. He is my responsibility. You know what I mean? And I have to make sure that he turns into as good a Krogan as he can be. <laughs> Dang it. But he's his own person. This is his choice. And I love that, like, Shepard watches him a lot more. Like, this is very important for Grunt. It is in my blood. It is what and I And she for. knows that. Good boy. Speak with the shaman. He's over on the second level. Give him a good show and he'll set you on the path.
You too, Shepard. How many times have you stepped in a mess for your crew? Hmm? <laughs> uh, yeah. Right, that's the thing, is Rex knows. Like, Rex has been around, like, for almost a thousand years. Like, he is very old and very wise and very powerful. And, I mean, I think he doesn't get as much credit as he, as he could, but, like... Like, he sees Shepard probably more clearly than a lot of... Even Garrus does, you know? He knows what she's going through. What she has gone through. I'm looking for a Salarian. He was captured by the Blood Pack and brought here. My scout commander can direct you. He's probably near the perimeter running target practice. Don't take too much of his time. I need a constant watch on the other clans. All right. I need to go. We'll go over this hey! another time. Watch yourself, Shepard. Tuchanka isn't safe and homey like Pharaohs and Ilos. Hang on. Shepard, what can I do for you, my friend? Oh, here we go. Good to see you, Rex. Sure you can't come with us? Wish I could. But I need to keep these short-sighted fools in line. Hunt well, Shepard. More than almost anybody else, I wish Rex could come back with me. <laughs> I really do. He just. Citadel Presidium has a big statue of a Krogan. <laughs> I'll tear you apart. You don't have the plates to. Try. I'm not gonna poke that, but that's fun. I'm not sure. I do. I don't never. Don't the ambassador. I don't know what's up with this guy. Turn back, human. I may be an ambassador among my people. But that doesn't mean I have to speak to the likes of you. Don't think that carrying this whelp of a Krogan makes you worth my time. Leave now before my guards decide to reject you. That would be a mistake. You seem like a well-traveled Krogan ambassador. I am. Then you must know who I am. <laughs> and you have to be aware that bad things happen to those who oppose me. <laughs> Stand down, men. I'm starting to like this. <laughs> Even Paragon Shepard gets renegade with the Krogan. From clan Nakmor. We're a small clan based in Akratic wastes. If Nakmor is a small clan, how do you keep the more powerful clans from destroying you? We are the clan of the great warlord Nakmor Kral, who faced down platoons of Turians and won. Most clans lend us the respect our ancestor is due. Well, what, 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 what have you done? You know what I mean? What business does Clan Knockmore have with the Erdnot? Clan leader Rex requested that I come. He and Clan Knockmore have been in talks about a more permanent alliance. With our help, Erdnot could rally others behind its banner and truly unite Tuchanka. And we would gain the chance to fight in larger battles with greater plunder. Ah, okay. I thought all Krogan want to be warriors. What makes a Krogan become an ambassador? Huh. You don't know as much as you think, human. A Krogan diplomat has to represent the strength of his people, or his clan appears ripe for conquest. Mm. I slaughtered my way to the top of my clan, human. I speak with the authority of a warrior. Indeed. It makes sense. I think Shepard's like, aha, I see. I should go. I'm sure you are needed elsewhere. I don't think I've ever spoken to him before doing Grunt's mission. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah. Watch it, human. Who are you? Nah, Torth. Boy, the envoy to the female clans doesn't have to listen to aliens. Envoy to the female clans. So are you a man? You have to be a man. I may be young, but I have ah, the yeah, wishes yeah. of the females. That's important. Oh, okay. Oh, so he must be growing up with the feet. Like, he must be, like, a young Krogan that's been... He's probably just getting to the point now where he can be going to, like, the... I guess the... Because the girls probably just stay in the clan the whole time, but the males probably, when they hit a certain age, when they hit the, the right... The passage, I guess. The right of passage. That's when they join the male clan of, like, the, of the same clan. Because it's just a female Erdnot clan and a male Erdnot clan. So he's probably young enough he hasn't gone through the rite of passage. Um, but he's he's a male. And probably one of the older males that of the children with the female clan. So he's the envoy. That makes sense. I never I never really thought about that. I didn't never really 
understood what he was doing exactly. 